Nuke Reality Space by Filament Dryer. And it has touch screen. Seems to be resistive touch screen. The sensitivity is desired to be a better one because you need to press the screen so hard it disturbs the LCD screen behind it. And light touch does not do anything. Programmed temperature and set temperature and current humidity. You activate it simply by setting the value for the timer. Maximum 48 hours. And from the looks of it, it seems that it's not meant to dry your filament. It's meant to keep your filament dry during the printing because it doesn't have any kind of vents or openings to uh, evacuate humid air. So all the humidity is trapped inside and has no way to go outside. Overall I like the design, I like how it's built, feels robust. Inside you can see it takes air from the one side and blows out from the other and hot air circulates. Here is uh, temperature and humidity sensors and rollers for the spool. Filament dryer is running for some time and humidity stabilized to 15%. Now let's improvise and imagine that we are loading filament which has amount of moisture inside. One hour later, humidity has stabilized to 45%. One additional hour passed and nothing has changed. We have the same amount of water in the cup and almost the same uh, humidity value let's improvise let's make a small air gap to help uh, humid air to evaporate just a small gap of course tissue is, is not a permanent solution it's just for the experiment oh and you already see that Humid air evacuates the chamber and general humidity is dropping. Okay, it's now one hour since I opened the door just slightly. Decided not to go for a sleep and wait a bit a little bit. I already noticed that water level has dropped just slightly. It's now next day morning, let's check, yeah. 
and the cup is empty, there is no water, so our imaginary filament, which was spoiled with the humidity, is now recovered. So this proves the point that this filament dryer can, can be used for both purposes. To keep the filament dry while printing and also recover spoiled filament.